Hi everyone, I'm Ashley Bornanson with the Red Carpet Report. Who doesn't like a good inspirational family friendly movie? Today we're at the Movie Guide Awards here in Universal City showcasing some movies that hit home. Let's check it out. Hello, I'm How Ashley. Nice, nice to meet you, you Rockman. Okay. And Maya. Maya. Nice, nice to meet you. you. Okay, so Rockman, you are nominated. Can you yeah, tell me about that for Raising Izzy? Oh yeah, Raising Izzy, it's uh, you know, a, young, a young couple that are looking forward to having children, uh, but they're a little bit on the fence, and then they have the opportunity to uh, adopt two lovely young girls. And uh, it's a very inspirational story, and uh, we did it, had a great time filming it. Roger Robb did a great time, uh, great uh, job directing it, and uh, you know, GMC promoted it and, and got it out there. So it's a great inspirational story. That's awesome. What was it like going from San Sons of Anarchy to Raising Izzy? Because it's totally different. Going from Sans Ar Sons of Anarchy to anything is always a transition. Um, you know, that is just a high testosterone show. So when you go to anything after that, you really have to, like, take a, a quick break. Unfortunately, I didn't have one. So, you know, it, it was interesting. It was interesting. Wow. And, okay, so Sons of Anarchy, the last thing we saw, your character went through a lot of traumatic events. Can yeah. you tell me more about that? Uh... Yeah, my wife died on the show uh, in the last season. Um, I started to work a little bit uh, closer with the, the bike gang, which was uh, really interesting considering that I'm this, I'm this uh, sheriff. Yeah, and I lost my unborn baby. Yeah, which is, you know, uh, really heart wrenching. And, you know, I'm, I'm still alive so far, which is, you know, uh, interesting because a lot of people die on that show. What's it like, like having to go through that as an actor, you know, the emotional preparation and then coming home being like, okay, let me throw all that out, you know? I really don't try to bring my work home, you know what I mean? I have a, a great home life and I, I try to keep it nice and simple. Mm -hmm. um, my work is my work, you know, but going mm -hmm. through those things, you know, I, every actor has this process and uh, I'm not a method actor. I do my work. I, you know, play it out on set and I leave it there. That sounds great. So yeah. this is obviously, they call it the family-friendly Oscars. Awesome. <laughs> so um, I was just wondering, what do you think inspires you that you could give, especially to up-and-coming stars in the industry? Because a lot of people get advice. It's not always the best advice here in Hollywood. Um, you know, I, one. <laughs> I, I think it would, ladies first, go ahead. Well, uh, you know, I just think, um, I say the same thing all the time, to follow your heart and not, not to do it for fame because you'll sort of go down a path you don't necessarily need to go down to. Keep God first. You know, there's nothing and no man on this earth that can keep you from your dream. You'll get a hundred no's. And I, it's, a, it's something I always say, uh, winners lose more than losers win. You have to lose a lot to be the best. So don't take losing as, um, you know, a knock. It's a gain and you'll eventually get to where you're going if your heart's in the right place. Right. Just be a good person. Yeah. Someone once told me a no is just as good as a yes. Absolutely. Because you learn from that no, what not to do, what, what to do, why. Those are invaluable tools you can take with you for the rest of your career. It's wonderful. I hear no all the time. <laughs> and look how great I'm doing. <laughs> That's great. And we're keeping an eye on your Lifetime movie coming up, right? You. Your yes, directing Master debut. Brown. And when is that coming out? It's coming out tomorrow, uh, 8 o'clock, okay. 7 o'clock Central. Pastor Brown tomorrow at 8 o'clock Lifetime. All right. So great talking to you both. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for watching the Red Carpet Report. If you like this interview, be sure to like our video. And for more interviews, subscribe.